So what we would be doing is that uh, we will be first initiating a Pygame environment and then creating a Pygame display window using display surf and creating a clock value so that we can uh, set the animation rate in the whole window. I will be telling that. Uh, then we will be again creating a new fresh environment for the Lunar Lander V2 and then we will be loading our model as well, policy network tf.krs. Now in this particular loop, uh, we, as we have reset our environment earlier here, you can see that we are in taking the initial state, calculating the action probabilities and using this action probabilities, we are calculating the action as we did earlier and then getting the rewards action in the next state. Now using the n.render function, we are rendering the image also for that particular state. So n.step returns as the uh, particular state as a 1D array. Now when we are doing it a render, it is returning as the image of that particular environment, right? Now, using this image that we have got, we are first of all converting this numpy array. It is a numpy array basically, uh, three dimensional numpy array. We are converting it into an image object and then uh, eventually we are converting it into a pygame.surface object using this particular step mode, uh, mod, comma, size, comma, data, image.mode, image.size, image.2 bytes, and then using pygame.image.from string. We're converting this particular image into a Pygame surface image and then using display dot blit. So display surface basically the this uh, window game window that we have declared earlier and blit helps us in uh, build, uh, drawing out any drawings over the window. So image is the object that we're trying to draw with coordinate zero zero. And then we are printing a step count as well, which step we are at and then updating the Pygame window. Uh, 